Hello YouTube, Rocky3 here, and I have another kicking action figure review for you guys. Today's action figure review is over this Doctor Who Ood figure. Ooh, it's an Ood. Look at his tentacles. Which yeah, he's pretty cool. This is a red eye version, so he's got red eyes. Really, really nice. Although they've had red eyes multiple times. Like, you know, uh, when they were being possessed by Satan. <laughs> That was a really good two-parter, by the way. Oh, it was fantastic. I bought it on iTunes, then my hard drive was wiped. So I gotta figure out how to get that back. And then, uh... The Ood also appeared in Planet of the Ood. That was in Season 4, or Series 4. I don't know. British are weird. But I love them. And their television. And uh, that was, like, their home planet and stuff. And then being freed from their servitude and etc. It was really, really good. Like, it was crazy good. I loved it. It's one of my favorite episodes. Also bought it, deleted of hard drive. But um, then he was in. They they kind of appeared in specials, like they show up, like he showed up at the end of Waters of Mars. Waters of Mars made me tear up like no one's business. And then uh, they were in the end of time. Had a pretty decent part in the end of time. And then um, there was nephew who was an ood that appeared in Doctor Who series six. Uh, what was that episode called? Uh, you know, I cannot remember. I have that season on Blu-ray. Oh, I don't know. It was the episode where they go to that little dimension, pocket dimension thing, and it's like, hey, there are a bunch of dead TARDISes here because I eat them. It was weird. Anyhow, enough Ood history. Let's, um... Let's take a look at the figure. He does come with an accessory, his little translator slash weapon here. Uh, it just pegs into his hand and the little cord part goes up and you can just stick it up up there. There's not really, I don't think there's a hole for it, but you can stick it up there and it'll it'll stay pretty well actually. Now let's go ahead and do detail and paint job. Detail and paint job is really great, especially on the head. Great sculpt, lots of shading that's a bit hard to see on camera, but uh, the red Black paint on those tentacles, just really spectacular. He's got the red in the eyes. It's just all his liver spot looking things on his head and etc. All of it's really, really nice. It looks really great. In his suit, just the bland gray, but it's got all the wrinkles and nice things. His black hands, black shoes, no peg holes or anything. But he is a pretty cool figure. He's kind of bland, but like, uh, Neck down, but he's supposed to be. That's, just, that's supposed to be. So, uh, articulation. Head goes side to side. You can see that came out. Oh no, come back in. I knew it'd come out. Ah, uh, just leave it. I gotta move the arms anyways. I'll just move this arm. So, uh, yeah, forward and back on the arms. No in and out, which sucks. But then you got elbow bend. And, you know, some wrist rotation. Got some waist action down there. In and out, forward and back. He's got those Mattel crotch bits. <laughs> this isn't made by Mattel, but I don't think. I don't think. No, it's not made by Mattel. But then a knee bend and no foot action. So, uh, he really is okay articulation wise, I suppose. But now let's get into some size comparisons. Now, here's our Ood with some other Doctor Who aliens. Here he is with the uh, Earthshock Cyberman figure. Highly recommended figure, by the way. And uh, they scale up great together, you know, Ood's about person size. These Cybermen weren't near as big as the new ones. Uh, I haven't really seen the Neil Gaiman ones yet, other than trailers. But they should be pretty cool. Can't wait for those figures to come out. And uh, also, here he is with the uh, Open Mouth Silence. Well, it's actually the Shock Effect Hands one, but it's really the same as the Open Mouth. And they scale up well, the, they scale up well together, too. The sound's supposed to be really, really tall. So it works, and it should scale up well with your closed mouth silence as well. If you can frickin' find one, I can't find one. But yeah, I almost didn't find this Ood either, because, uh... I was at Dragon Con. <laughs> and the Ood, uh... I couldn't find an Ood anywhere. This was two years ago, I think. But... I found one at one booth, but I dug to the back of the shelves and found it. Last one. And... A bunch of people saw me walking with it after I bought it, and they were like, Whoa, where'd you get an Ood? And I was like, Uh, that guy over there. And they'd been looking for an Ood for like two days, apparently. So, 
Uh, I looked out on this Ood. There it just had like a bunch of nephews and stuff, but I wanted just a plain old Ood. Ood Sigma was there too, but... Well, actually, no, there weren't any Ood Sigmas. Ood Sigmas were there the year before that, but mm, no. But, yeah, so here he is with uh, some Halo figures. I think that these guys look really good with the Doctor Who figures. These Halo and Doctor Who figures look really cool together. Even though they don't scale up too well, because I know these Spartans are like, whoa, way bigger than humans and junk. But I just think they look good with the Doctor Who aliens. And you know they're aliens, so imagination. But uh, he is with this uh, Anniversary Combat Evolve Master Chief. Probably like my favorite Master Chief figure. And then he is with my uh, Spartan Marksman from the 2-pack. And I think he looks cool with these Reach figures. Not so much the uh, Halo 3 ones. They're just too small. But it's like Reach and Anniversary figures they look really cool with. So I highly recommend displaying them with your Halo if you don't. Except if, you, if you're like me. I display them together because I don't have too much Halo. But I have even less Doctor Who. So I'm like, I'll put the Doctor Who with the Halo stuff. Looks pretty cool together. So what are my final thoughts on the Doctor Who Ood action figure? Well, it's pretty cool. It's got all the paint apps it needs. The sculpting's great. Scales up well with other... Doctor Who figures. It's just the only thing that I really can grab about is articulation. There's no foot articulation. His arms can't come out. I mean, the silences can come out like like that, but the ouds can't. So the ood, yeah. Well, so it's all right. My my Cyberman can't either. I guess it's just an older thing for the figures. But he does look great in your collection. If you're a Doctor Who fan, I highly recommend this guy, especially if you love the ood as much as I do. And he'll look cool with your uh, other space adventure figures too, like Halo, I guess. So, um, yeah, that's it. That is it for this review. I'm gonna give this Ood three out of five stars. I can't, I can't give him four or anything just because of the articulation. And he's not as, as like spectacular as say the Earthshock Cyberman. Because there's kind of a lack of paint apps on the suit, even though it's supposed to be like the blandest of bland. Which I understand, so that's okay. It's just, this guy, I really feel 3 out of 5 is the best for him. So, yeah, that's it for this review, guys. Be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Follow you back. And also, uh, the Action Figure Collecting page and our second channel. All links in the description below. You guys will love it. Really, you'll love it. So remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. 3 out of 5 stars, and I will see you all... Later.